Never before seen show is coming to the stage in Northern Kentucky. Keeper of the Realm follows a tale of love and loss. And here to talk about this newly penned play is Maggie Perino, theater director at the Carnegie. And uh, thank you so much for coming in. Thank uh, you. There's so much to talk about uh, of this in terms of both the, the play itself and who benefits from being a part of it. Yeah. But let's start with the play itself, Keeper of the Realm. Uh, if you could tell, tell us what it's basically about. Sure. Um, so it's it's really about a family um, in Cincinnati. So it's really a lovely little kind of love letter to Cincinnati in some ways. There's lots of little touch points that'll be familiar to everybody. Um, but basically, the the parents have passed, and the kids have gathered to kind of clean out the family home. Um, and they have sort of a lot of nostalgic moments as they sure. go through the boxes. And there's a little bit of mystery in that they need to find the deed, and you know that is sort of important to the plot. And I won't give it all away, but okay. um, but it really is a wonderful examination of generations and the next generation, you know, stepping up and taking over, being the keepers of the realm. Yeah, so it's something we can all relate to uh, exactly. at, at different points in our life. Oh, absolutely. Uh, 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 do you know if it was uh, uh, prompted by anything that happened in, in real life? Um, I don't know that it was necessarily inspired by real events. Um, it does take place sort of in the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Oh, okay. Um, and it was written over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so it is a little bit of a reflection of what we've all been through the last two years, um, but in a really sort of cathartic way that you can leave feeling kind of closer and, and like you've come to something to a better place. Yeah, there's another element of this that, that really I think is going to bring a certain energy to the play. Uh, it, it's new, which is a, a, Brand a new. special World it, it, premiere. It itself, but it was uh, uh, written by Dylan Myers. Uh, those in the theater community around here, she's the artistic director at the, the Ensemble Theater. Yes. Uh, this is a pro's pro. That's right. Uh, so that's important. But she worked with students yes. at NKU to do this. Uh, uh, talk about why that's important. Sure. So this has been a collaboration we've been working on for about five years um, between NKU and the Carnegie to um, kind of help uh, amplify the Yes Festival, which is their New Works Festival. Yeah. Um, it's one of the oldest collegiate New Works festivals in the country. Um, and they always wanted to uh, commission a new play. Um, and so about three years ago, we got to Lynn and Lynn's said, yes, I would love to write yeah. the play and work with the students. Um, and so over the last year, she's been workshopping the script with the kids at school. Um, three, four students, excuse me, were selected for the cast. Um, so they are actually getting to work side by side with her in developing a new work and getting that experience, um, which I think is really, really critical for students to get that real world um, craft from professionals who are doing the work. Um, and it'll really give them a leg up in their future because they already know how to do this. Yeah, how are they embracing that? Oh, they're having the best time. I think, um, you know, it's wonderful to, you know, walk into a professional dressing room and have a professional scenic designer yeah. and beautiful lighting. Um, so they're really getting a chance to kind of step into that next step of their own careers with this project. Okay. Uh, give us the details now on how to get tickets and, sure. uh, and when it opens, that sort of thing. Of course. So we open uh, April 1st uh, and it runs through the 16th on the weekends. You can get your tickets at thecarnegie.com and we'd love to see everybody come out. Sure would. And it's a new work. You're going you're gonna to love it. I guarantee you. Do you like Myers? Oh, you know you're okay. going to love it. All That's right. right. Thank you, Maggie.